What's going on, trucking junkies? We are here at Jackson, Michigan. It's a crisp, cool Monday morning. We did all kinds of driving yesterday. <clears throat> all day driving. Mr. Roche here did him about a half a day of driving, which was great. Got a little tired at the end, but that's expected though, man. You can't come out here and have that iron butt already. You gotta, you gotta build up to that stuff. You know what I mean? But he did real good. He recognized that he was getting tired. You know, asked me what I, he needed to do. And I told him, I said, just pull over. I've got time to drive. We'll drive the rest of the way. No big deal. It's good stuff. He's gonna get all this securement off of here, except for our straps. We're gonna leave our straps on uh, just for movement. Cause you need to have securement when you're moving right and we're gonna leave our straps on we're gonna take all of the equipment off put it up and then we're gonna sit because there's a lot of us here yup monday mornings at jackson's are busy look at all these maverick trucks man maverick making money on a monday morning which means we're making monday on a monday morning look at that mm. <laughs> Roche's getting used to this uh, waking up early and trying to sleep on that bunk bed too <laughs> it's rough isn't it it's like it's like glamping <laughs> it's new yep it's new mm, we're gonna get all this off here we'll go in there and get it loaded here in a minute so we're sitting here and we're waiting I don't know it's gonna be I, I bet we're gonna be here for about another 30 minutes or so waiting probably but check this out so i told you i got tired of my gopro running out so i have hooked up this light this cord and it's going to hook right into the gopro and then when i get home because i forgot it this is going to hook into a battery pack that i'm going to glue to the back of this right in there i've got a round one that i'm going to put right there that's also going to balance out my hat because when i've got the gopro on it's 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 front heavy heavy right so that's going to balance that out just a little bit that'll be all right i think i'll have uh i'll have enough battery and enough uh, uh card to last me the whole time and i won't have to change batteries out that's the way to go how you can how you do pulling into this scale oh yeah All these big birds. Oh, yeah. Let's feed the pig. She got a Chucky riding. Mm, she got a Chucky riding in there with her. Scare people off. She's one of them MFIC drivers, too. Yep. Off we go. Gotta put your braid on. There you go. Let her rip. Three miles an hour, right? Yep. Take your time going in. Yes, sir. They only deal with great bar out here, huh? Well, every now and then you can bring some shiny bar in here and go into one of the one of the doors, but it's not typical. Usually shiny bar is finished bar. They don't want to hit hit that back up. They've milled it already. But if they're gonna Every now and then you'll distribute out something out of here, but it's not normal. Okay. Now you can pick shiny bar up here, though. Uh, I've never done it, but I've got a friend that's done it. Yeah, set up the bulkhead and all that good stuff. Wait 
just a little bit. There you go. Too much on the steering wheel. Real easy. And you're going to pull up until you're about. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. About right there. There you go. Hit the, hit the parking brake. There you go. Turn her off. Grab the paperwork. Good job. How are you doing? Hey. Hey there. How you doing, Cheryl? Oh, living the dream. Me too, man. Me too. Yeah, you are. Oh. Pulled in this morning. Busy, busy, busy. Okay. Okay, so this is their map. You're in the scale right here. And they have four loading and unloading zones, okay? And she's going to tell you which zone to go to. All right? If she tells you to go zone two north, we'll come out and we're going to swing around the the harness area over there and go into that one if she tells you zone south uh, to south it'll be before the harness area and if we go over here to zone one uh north or south you're gonna pull up here and you'll back into one of those okay mm -hmm. <sighs> So now does that that look straight? Not anymore. <laughs> on my side though. Yeah, you're a little cockeyed. So <clears throat> what you really want to do is you want to judge on the ground. See 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 how this is worn out? Uh -huh. See how it's a different color than this right here? Yes, sir. That's where that's where people track their truck. They pull forward and then they back it up and make and, and they get it even with with that pole there and that pole there. So what you're what you're trying to do is you're fine where you're at. Just leave it where it's at. What you're trying to do is you're trying to make it for easy for the lift driver. So the lift driver can come in, swing in, and just hit you right there. What they're gonna have to do this time is come in, swing out a little bit, and then come back in. But it's fine. Just you just want to make it <clears throat> make it as even as possible. You'll get there. Trust me. I feel like I came in the wrong field sometimes. Do what? I get the wrong feel sometimes. Now, you're doing all right. Mm. All right. So, what side are your what side are your your straps on? The hook. No. What side are your straps on? Where do you, where do you store your straps? Where do I store my straps? On this side. On this side. Okay. So you want to roll them on this side instead of carrying them all the way to that around the truck. Okay. So okay. what you want to do? You want to you want to do this you do that one and i'll do this one okay come on i'm gonna show you what i do i take i take this side off now leave that hanging like that This strap. Come on, god dang it. Why are we hooked up in there like that? Oh, this is sitting on it. That's why. There we go. And you take your hook, throw your hook over there. Come on back over here. And you do that on both sides or on both both hooks. And now my strap is on this side where I can roll it up and just stick it in my, my thing. Your strap is gonna be on that side because you threw your strap over that side. Okay. Make sense? Makes sense. You want everything. If you're gonna put your straps on that side, you wanna roll up all your straps on that side so you don't have to carry them around the truck. You don't have to go back and forth. If you got, let's just say you've got six straps on there, right? You can't carry all those straps at one time. You'd be making several trips around the truck. It takes time. If you throw all your straps 
to this side, well, it's one trip around the truck. Make sense? Yes, sir. Every minute counts. Every minute. All right, so go throw that strap to this side. Yep. I'm learning. You are? I need to stop uh, You're going to be efficient. You're going to be efficient by the time you get off this truck. See, you're already getting the strap roll right. Check it out. All right. Make sure you thank your lift driver because they're going to get you out of here quick. Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Appreciate you. And then we're going to back up over here out of her way. And as soon as she gets all of these off, we're going to go ahead and put our, put our boards up, get our straps done, and we're done until we get a job. Yep, one lift and she's done. Thank you. Everybody, we're headed out. We're going to Steel Dynamics in Butler, Indiana, and that's going to uh, Hannah, uh, Alabama for tomorrow. Uh, we got an open window to drop it off, but we got about, we got a little over 700 miles to go to pick up and then, or 75 miles to pick up and then, uh, and then 600, and I think it's 20 to drop off, but we gonna go get it and show him how to how to secure some steel coil and tarp that sucker so let's go look people we got the butler all right some rule driving today got us to butler sweet we're gonna check in all right so where what are you doing with the judging of the center of the trailer where's the center of the trailer do you know this one okay so if this is the center of the trailer okay so where's your light on your trailer you don't have to count them you don't have to count them look let me show you you never have to count them to find the center of your trailer come here stand right here you see that light good center of your trailer okay. it takes less time to locate that light than it does to count all them state pockets right okay so we use this as the center of our trailer instead of that state pocket if you put the center of your coil here you can do a number one hookup on the two that are in the middle just like this if you put your center here that is two number two hookups a number two hookup takes longer than a number one hookup so you want to take center and move it back to the light. You always want the center of your coil at this light right here. That way you can do the number one. So set up your pad. Okay, so we're getting it. We're going to get it suicide, right? Okay, so you've got a long edge on your coil pad and a short edge on your coil pad, right? Okay. So if you're getting your if you're getting your coil suicide, the length of your coil is going to be widthwise. All right. So you want your coil pad to be widthwise. So you're going to spin it. We're getting suicide. Suicide is where the where the barrel of it, the opening, is headed this way, not that way. Shotgun is like you're looking down the barrel of a shotgun, right? right here is, uh, side. This is the si eye to the side. Eye to the side they, call that, they call that suicide. Okay. Because it's just going to roll on you if you got a hard stop. Okay. It's going to kill you, right? Okay. So you're going to take your coil pad, or sorry, you're going to take your friction mat, and you're going to spin it. Where the long edge is the width of your trailer. Okay? Okay. 
move it back just a little bit you want to get it centered into this into the, right here move it back that way back toward the back of your trailer there you go now you're going to take your coil from coil racks how you doing doing all right your head. Yeah? Yes, sir. You watch my videos? All the time, awesome, man. I, I appreciate it. Yes, yeah? I just to say hi awesome. Oh, yeah. There you go, man. I appreciate you watching. No Thank you very problem. much. We're going to Alabama. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hannah. Hannah. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Thanks, man. All right, so so now, so what are you setting up? Huh? How are you setting this up? This? Yep. Wrong way. <laughs> so if you're if you were setting up for suit for for out of the front, that's exactly how you would set it up. Yeah. If you're but you're setting it to the out of the side, so your board's got to go this way, right? That's right. Okay. So your coil racks go long ways this way, just like you got these two on the outside. Then you're gonna take those two right there and you're gonna place them about two inches from the other ones. And you're gonna go get your other two and set them in the middle and then you're gonna spread them out evenly. All right, now spread all your coil, your racks out evenly. Now you want them to the edge. Your two on the edge were right. You spread the other four out evenly to the two on the edge. Okay. Close enough. It doesn't have to be exact, just gotta be close. All right, so you got one board and two boards, right? Yes, sir. Okay, so set your boards on there. How do they set? Mm -mm. Nope, almost, not quite. Nope. nope. When you're setting up a coil. Oh, never mind. There you go. There you go. Good one. Kind of even them out there. That coil will spread it out. Just leave it right where it's at. It's, it's fine. That coil, when they set that coil on there, it'll go. <laughs> it'll spread that right out, man. Look at this one and look at that one. How you doing, How you doing man? You doing all right? Yeah. Sweet. Doing pretty good. What goes on here? There you go. Huh? What goes on around here? I know so set your coil up coil rack up okay. however many coils you got put all your stuff on your deck because they want all your equipment on the deck okay. and then when you get all set up and ready you just call them they'll put you in the line you'll have to give them uh your truck number trailer number um your coil weight you give them that and then they'll put you in line they'll give you a call when you're ready that'll work i appreciate yeah you. man you're welcome Thank you. all right man you're set up dude that's it you're done that's all there is now we're gonna go call them, tell them we're set up and ready. You're gonna give them a bunch of information. And then they'll call us when they're ready to have us come to the scales.